Good morning. Another day, another week. QD, walk us through your training this week. If you can do every day, that'd be amazing. I'll put mine down in the comments at some point during the day. You'll see it also in the uh, training log. Walk us through your training this week. All right. And we're back. There's the midsole of the Max Road 5. Question of the day, what is your long run shoe right now and why? All right, help everybody out down in the comments. I just went back to the, I'll get you the comment of the day, being pulled from the Skechers Max Road 5 full review. And it's so fun to see that vlog because we were living, living, we were staying in a hotel as we sold our old house. That's how long it's been, almost two years, since I did the full review of the Skechers Max Road 5. Yes, we opened it up. Yes, the outsole has changed tremendously from the Max Road 5 to the Max Road 6. Now, when I say in the title, go buy this running shoe if, or I should say road running shoe if, now here's the if parts, okay? If you probably don't live in a very, very warm, very, very humid, location all right this shoe has a lot going on in it meaning and so i put the shoe on this morning i actually had a completely different game plan for today's vlog yes i am doubling today the first double where's the training log there it is the first double of the training block all right so i'll be running this afternoon in the max road six once again because i'm that excited about it and i wanted i want to dial in and i'll probably put a title at the end of the vlog after I double here in about an hour or so, hour and a half from now. And so I did 15 this morning. There's today's run on your screen. Steezy pace, just getting the miles in. And that's how I'm going to use this shoe moving forward. Now, if you prefer a shoe with, for ground contact feel, don't buy the, ground, the Max Road 6. If you prefer a lighter shoe, don't buy the Max Road 6. If you, all right, the flip, flip side, if you are maybe a little bit high volume runner, huh, right here, this shoe is gonna help me kind of get through these, these bigger volume weeks in the summertime. I'm telling you, this is a long run shoe. Would I use it for an easy day? I would. Is it completely soft? No, it is not. Is there gonna be resiliency through that midsole? I really think there is going to be. Now they did change, as I already mentioned, that outsole. I really actually liked the foot, the pod action on the bottom of the Max Road 5. Um, it's okay, it's okay. They changed it up quite a bit. I'm telling you, the resilience of that, I'm predicting uh, Goodyear rubber on that outsole. I think it's gonna go the distance plush. If you like your Achilles tendon to get a nice bear hug on the back on the back of the uh, shoe there, uh, by the Max Road 6. This is, I'm excited. I would go steady. Oh, that's always painful. Memory card filled up, sorry about that. So I'll try and remember my thoughts that I was just sharing. Um, I was talking about how I would use the shoe and uh, talking about the, the thickness of the upper. And I don't know if I already mentioned this, sorry if I'm repeating myself, but it's got the padding. It's a little bit on the heavy side. Um, it is carbon infused. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I, okay. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. The arch fit. If you, again, you want a little support through the inside, the medial side of your arch, 
That's what, as I, was, as I was going through the 15 miles today, and again, there's the shoe. If I haven't put it on, I'll put it on again. As I was going through the 15 miles today, I was like, man, what does this shoe feel like in 2023? And I couldn't think of one because of this arch fit. It's, and there's a little more information in the tag that came with the shoe this morning. I pulled that tag off and I saved it because I was like, wait a minute, maybe this will be handy after the run. Sure enough, they are really dialing in. And as, you know, according to this tag, talking to doctors and podiatrists about shoe fit, and I, it just felt, mm, felt so good. It kind of felt, you know, again, that bear hug around the midfoot. So you felt really secured and supported and listen this is not a shoe that i would wear every day and again i'm sorry if but i would wear this shoe um for those long runs i would absolutely use it for an easy easy day uh but also when i do want to not have to think too too much about my foot strike and especially like later in a long run when you're doing 15 miles 18 miles 22 miles and you're just getting a little tired but your coach has told you you got to get in the volume. You got to go two and a half hours. You got to go two hours and 45 minutes. And your legs are barking at you at the end of those long runs. That's when I would just yearn for something like this, the Max Road 6. So hopefully I'm not repeating myself too much, but those are some thoughts that were percolating um, on the run. And here's a little throwback clip. Here you go. The bounce, it's not as bouncy as the Invincible, but still really nice. In fact, I think that's a good thing. It's not as bouncy. Some people think the Invincible is almost too bouncy. And I'm gonna say like, I think it's gonna have a ridiculous amount of resilience through that midsole and outsole. It just feels, and I don't know the weight yet. I don't know the price yet. Again, just a few more thoughts from in the moment testing. Those were filmed at about mile six or seven in the 15 miles today. So I don't know if I'm back yet. I've, uh, so I'm doubling today. I'm going to put on the screen, oh yeah, and oh yeah, the price point, shoot. I, I gave a gut reaction about five minutes ago to the price point, and I, I, yeah, I almost yelled out here in the studio because it's $129. What? I was expecting $150. I was expecting anything under $145. I was going to do backflips. I wish I could do a backflip, but man, $129, that is, I, I, that just reinforces, yes, I would buy this shoe again in a heartbeat now, for the double, this afternoon, here in about an hour and a half, I'm gonna put a title on the screen right now describing how this shoe felt on the double. So I'll try and be really nuanced and really dialed in. This is how the shoe felt in the double. I'm not gonna film again today, that's why I'm putting it on a title. And there you have it, soak it in, okay? Max Road 6, we'll see how it feels in the double. So we will already be at 25 miles by the end of today. Oh, I will link to it down below as well in the description. $129. Man, jeepers. Wow. Unbelievable. All right, everyone. I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Did I get you a comment of the day? Yes. Retro kid, you get it. Kudos from two years ago. Kudos to you for reviewing the Skechers brand. This is being pulled from the Max Road 5 full review. Okay. More kudos to you for pointing out the hype in the Hoka brand and pointing out their lack of any real and substantial proprietary cushioning because they're they they're they're eva based now they have evolved over the past two years i'll just say retro kid but i'm gonna put hoka has a lot of money they've got really good branding and really good marketing all right they just have a, and they have fast athletes okay so they have really made incredible inroads into the running shoe landscape especially in the last three years and you know definitely in the last five years but you know, for all of everybody that works on their feet all day, shout out to the nurses. Thank you for the, being on the front lines, you nurses out there, or you doctors that wear hokas to work. I'm just going to encourage you to don't be afraid to, to look at New Balance. Not as much Saucony, but look at New Balance. Yes, look at Skechers as well. There's other brands out there that are also putting out maximalist and maximalist plus uh, shoes that you could walk around your work in all day long. All right. Other brand, oh, I'm trying to think if I'm missing anyone major, even honestly, even ASICS in 2023, ASICS, you know, between the Nimbus and the Cumulus, like they have just said, all right, we are ripping off the Band-Aid in 2023 and we are going, to, uh, that's actually ASICS, um, New Balance and 
Skechers. All right, all right, I better stop, but I just, I thank you, Retro Kid, for the comment of the day. Skechers Max Road 6, we'll test it, toss it to the Skechers Max Road 5 from two years ago, full review right there. All right, see beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.